Hey, good afternoon, it's Jeremiah, Affordable Mobility Solutions, home at mobility316.com. Today I'm shooting a video of our 2021 Chrysler Voyager. This is a rear entry, brand new wheelchair accessible conversion, easy to operate, low cost to maintain. Now, whether you're looking for your family or to grow your business, we have 90 days, no payments for October only. Great specials going on, help you get ahead, whether it's for your personal payments or for your business, this is a great way to do it. Uh, it has a handle on either side, it's got these clamps. Again, two fingers all take and flip. I can take this to the ground using only my index finger. I tell our customers, if you can lift half a gallon of milk up off the ground, you can operate this 34 inch wide ramp with ease. That's four inches wider than most side entries. So if you're, if you're looking to haul a bigger chair or chairs, this rear entry might be the answer for you. Now, if someone parks next to you in a side entry wheelchair accessible van, you cannot get out in your wheelchair. Not the case with the rear entry. The rear entry have more ground clearance for getting over rougher terrain, and they're more affordable to convert, therefore more affordable for you to purchase. A few of the advantages to the rear entry, but if you're looking for side entry, if you're looking for full size, if you're looking for a wheelchair accessible truck or SUV, we have all of them. We have over 85 vehicles on a lot ready to go today. Check us out at mobility316.com. If you don't see it there, we're probably getting it ready, or I can find it for you. 800 pound weight capacity. You got about 56 inches of room coming inside the van, then about 57 once you're inside the van. Uh, it does taper down to about 32 inches here at the base. And this has a deep cut, which means you can hold two wheelchairs at a time. And this, this channel is about a foot longer than both the Caravan and the Sienna. So if you're looking to haul two chairs, you want that extra room, these Chryslers might be the answer for you. We can even put a third row flip seat in here so you can haul six people at a time plus a wheelchair. Uh, we've got the uh, Upgraded Q strength tie downs and no additional charge to you. A lot of our competitors are going to charge you six to eight hundred dollars to upgrade to these. We throw them in at no charge to make sure you're comparing apples to apples. Uh, we have the jump seats here. We have about 25 inches, 25 and a half inches of room between these seats. Make extra room to get a wheelchair up in there. And we can even put a gurney kit in here to, so you can call all the cots, the gurney kits, the stretchers. Let us know your measurements. Let us know what you're using it for. Let us know how many people you're hauling. Let us help customize this van to meet your needs. Up here we got the center console, we've got our q strength tie down and warranty information there. The dash is in great shape, no cracks or holes in the dash. You got steering wheel controls so you can keep your eyes on the road. Your big backup camera there, dual climate control, rear air controls. Plenty of plugs for all your electronics. So when you got everybody secure, come back out, simply reverse the process, and you are ready for your next adventure. Again, one finger, super easy to do. Now, our competitors, they're going to tell you they have a better built conversion than we do it and that's fine that's what they get paid to say what do you expect them to say you know but i want you to ask them what their warranty is ours is three years unlimited miles a lot of them are going to tell you no warranty some are going to tell you uh one year twelve thousand miles some are going to tell you uh three years thirty six thousand miles i want you to compare those numbers to our three year unlimited mile you tell me who has the better build conversion yeah i'm talking to those big companies the box stores out there ask them what their warranties are so as i do a walk around in the van it's got tinted windows all the tires are almost brand new. They're all over 10, 30 seconds. So darn near brand new tires on this vehicle. And you hear me talk all the time how we can save you five to $10,000 on your next wheelchair accessible van. How we do it is simple. It's low it's economics, it's low overhead. We have one central location right here in the middle of the country, Wichita, Kansas. What that allows us to do is free shipping anywhere in the lower 48 states. Obviously saves you money. I want you to look at our competitors out there with 10, 20, 50, some even 100 stores. Imagine all the overhead they have every month. I'm not talking every year. Every month they have millions of dollars more overhead than we than we do. You do the math. That's why they have to sell their vans for so much. Where we, We're here. I'm the owner of the company. I'm out here working. Uh, we don't have company big company parties all the time. We don't go to big events. We're out here working all the time to keep prices low and production high to give you the best deals. And no matter who you buy from, make sure you get a video of the VIN number on the van. Why I'm saying that, a lot of people on Facebook Marketplace, which is the dirtiest place in the world to buy a vehicle, I am not joking. They will take our pictures of our vans, they'll cut out my sign up there, and what they'll do is they'll post this on the internet for $15,000 with a $2,000 deposit to hold it. They're trying to scam someone out of that $2,000. So what you say to them, I want you to make a video of the VIN number. So like this, my name is Jeremiah Coleman. I own Affordable Mobility Solutions, and I have this van right here in my possession they couldn't make this video because they don't have the van in their possession they're trying to scam somebody make sure you get a video of that vin number to protect yourself what we do with that vin number i run a carfax report on every single one of my vehicles before i buy it you should do the same carfax shows two owners does show minor damage i'm going to show that to you 
As we scroll down, Carfax shows no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title, and it shows no total loss. So this is not one of the super risky salvage or rebuilt titles. This is a clean title. Carfax shows there's never been structural damage, and the airbags have never deployed. So make note of that. Shows the odometer's accurate. Does show the minor damage. Um, does show an op- a no open recalls. And does show the warranty. The vehicle went into service July 28th, 2021. So it meets all the specs to be under the full powertrain warranty from Chrysler until July 28th, 2026, or 60,000 miles, whichever comes first. Now, as you scroll back down here, it does show the vehicle in uh, June 30th, 23, damage to the front. It shows minor. Minor damage is usually cosmetic, including dents or scratches to the vehicle body. I am not afraid to buy a vehicle that's had a bumper painted, you know, been in a minor fender bin or someone backed into it. Like I said, I showed you up here, make note of it. Never, airbags have never gone off. There's no frame damage. So I'm not afraid to buy a vehicle that's had my, minor damage. That's why I believe in this fan, and that's why I bought it. And no matter who you do business with, find them online, check out their ratings and reviews. Look at us on eBay, 1,607 transactions. Every single one of those transactions left us positive feedback. That's 100%. I would say that's a really good reputation. And uh, no matter who you buy from, make sure you find them on Google. Make sure they are a real company. Make sure they have a handful of reviews. A lot of these scammers can make a fake Google page. Uh, they will get a few reviews until Google catches on. We have 327 reviews, obviously not fake, 4.8 out of 5 stars. We have more 5-star reviews than any wheelchair accessible dealership at one location in the country. Let that sink in for a minute. So I hear stories all the time about uh, people buying from the, the general public or these 1 and 2 and 3 star dealers, You know, not the, not the 4.8 star like we have. They end up buying a van that's got a salvage title they weren't told about. Uh, major mechanical issues, you know, flood, uh, flood mechanical uh, engine transmission, you name it, I've heard it all. So if you want the one and two and three star experience, you go ahead and deal with the general public and those low end dealers. If you want five star vans with five star service and the best prices in the country, I look forward to working with you. All right, back to the van. It does have the one key fob with a keyless entry. If you want us to get additional keys made on your dime, we should be happy to do so. Black cloth interior, very clean. I am a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke or unusual odors inside this van. Just perspective in the back here has these black vinyl jump seats. They're easy to clean if you do get a spill or a mess on them. Just a little perspective for those of you that aren't real familiar with these as well. Got your rear air controls over there also. And I do like about this van, it's got the, the uh, push button start. So if I get in the vehicle, the key can be in my pocket or purse, your purse, and uh, fire it right up. You see all the dummy lights work and they all go out. 46,715 miles, a full tank of gas currently. We have our backup camera there. We've got our radio here turned on also. You can see that works. Let me show you here. There we go. That radio works just fine as well. And I've got three mechanics that work for me. We checked all the power mirrors, windows, and locks on this van. I'm going to show you the mirrors and windows moving. We checked the heat, air, cruise, belts, suspension, hoses, brakes. I've taken these on a road test, check the tires, replace fluids as necessary. My point is, we do not just run these through the car wash like so many sellers do, you know, and just put them on the lot. They go through a very thorough inspection before they hit my lot, and if nothing else by my video, I hope you can tell we're very thorough in everything we do. Underneath the hood, we have a 3.6 V6 engine. It idles smoothly. No signs of any damage, no signs of any leaks, and it sounds great. Underneath the van, much of the same. Very clean, no signs of any bent metal from an accident. No sign of any oil or fluid leaks. No signs of any rust, you know, from being up north in the rust belt. And no signs of any water damage from being in a flood. That's the number one mistake people make when they buy used vehicles. They assume things. They assume just because it's fairly new. They assume because it only has 46,000 miles on it. They assume it runs and drives good. They assume it's never been in a bad accident or a flood. That is the absolute most dangerous thing you can do when buying a used vehicle is assume things. I see brand new vehicles at auction regularly that have flood damage. These dealers will take on flood damage. They'll bring these to the auction to make them someone else's problem. If new vehicles can have that kind of damage, imagine what can happen with these used vehicles. So no matter who you do business with, I want you to ask yourself, did they show me thousands of reviews from Google, Google, and, Google and eBay so I can see that I'm dealing with an honest person with a great reputation? Do they show you a free car fax report? So you know you're buying, buying a vehicle that's got a clean title, no major accidents or damage, never been in a flood. They get on their hands and knees and crawl on the ground 
and even bother taking a couple pictures of the undercarriage, much less a detailed video front and back, so you know exactly what you're getting. You can see no flood damage underneath here. You can see there's no signs of any accidents underneath here. How about the roof? Did they get up on the roof, take pictures and video of the roof, so you can see there's no hail damage out there. You know how many vehicles I see at auction every week that have major damage to the roof. Bad hail damage, holes drilled in the roof from being a taxi, a big dent in the roof, someone pulled it in the garage door that was too low, but the sellers don't fix the roof because no one ever looks at the roof. You know who looks at the roof? Jeremiah with affordable mobility. That's who looks at the roof, and you better too, because it can be thousands of dollars to replace a roof like that. So no matter who you're doing business with, ask, I want you to ask yourself uh, when it comes to price, when it comes to reputation, when it comes to how thorough they are, and showing you exactly the vehicle you're going to get, please compare me to the competition. What happens if you end up buying a vehicle and you can't get a title for it because you're dealing with a shady individual? What if it won't pass inspection in your state because of a VIN number issue, or it's got a, a frame damage to the, from a flood or an accident going on, and many other cases just like this. If you buy a vehicle you can't register, you can't drive, you just bought a 4,000 pound paperweight. So to avoid those problems and so many more, do four things before you buy from anybody. Demand a detailed video like this. Folks, you're not buying an $80 dress off the internet. This is a major purchase. Demand a detailed video, not some lazy 30 second walk around, a detailed video. Second, demand a Carfax report. Yes, Carfax costs me thousands of dollars a month, but I do my due diligence because I want to be educated on what I'm buying. I want to know what I'm getting. Carfax is the best start and do not settle for some one of the cheap imposters demand the Carfax report. Third, get online, find out who you're buying from, check out their reputation and reviews. Uh, make sure the other person you're talking to on the other end of that phone, that computer, that they're legit and check out the reviews and ratings. Don't be a lazy buyer. Lazy buyers get scammed. I told you I'd get up on this roof and show it to you and you better believe it looks good. I check all these out before I buy them. And then finally, a demand a warranty. Like I mentioned in our event, under the full three year unlimited mile warranty on the conversion, Still meets the specs being the full drivetrain warranty from Chrysler. Do not risk buying as is. Make sure your vehicle comes with a warranty. Okay, the final portion of the video, I always like to get the vans out on the test drive, give them some gas so you can hear the engine run, feel the transmission shift through all the gears, and you know whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states, or if you come in and drive this Voyager home. We've done our due diligence. We've made sure that it's roadworthy, good acceleration, pops up to 70 miles an hour, no problems. Let's see if I can get there, traffic permitting. All right, we've got to 65. <laughs> I got the cruise control set, cruise works good. I'll zip up to 70 here. Runs and drives very nice down the highway, like a darn near brand new vehicle. Steering wheel is nice and straight, no unusual vibration or noise. And do keep in mind, me suspects to be under the powertrain warranty as well uh, from Chrysler, but we do sell long-term warranties that are factory type warranties that go anywhere from 90 days all the way to eight years and everywhere in between. Talk to me about how you can affordably protect your investment long-term. Also keep in mind, we don't have any hidden fees. A lot of these dealers show a real nice price online, what they have hidden in the fine prints of $500 administrative fee, they've got document fees, they've got tag fees, they've got freight, you name it, they have a fee for it. You know what they don't have? Free shipping. So by the time you add up the cost of all their hidden fees and the cost of shipping, that real nice price you saw online just jumped three or $4,000. Not such a nice price anymore, is it? So be sure to ask about shipping and fees before you buy or sit back, relax. Let me take care of all that for you and no additional charge to you. And my question to you, if someone's not telling you the real price of a vehicle, if they have a bunch of hidden fees on the back end, what else are they hiding from you? Is it a salvage title? Is it flood damage? Is it major mechanical issues? You know, I can't speak for them, but one thing I can speak for, that in any business, but none more important than the used car business, transparency is key. That's exactly why I'm out here making this video today, to be 100% transparent with you. Keep that in mind when you're out shopping. And if you'd like to give us a call or a text message, the best way to get hold of us is a text. That way anyone on our staff can respond as soon as possible. But 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. My name is Jeremiah. I am the owner. That is a direct line to reach out to call or text us. As you notice, I came down the ramp there, gave the van a nice hard break. There was no grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibration, exactly what we're looking for. So back to that phone number, I challenge you to ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you a direct line to call or text the owner of the company. Or do you get to call in and talk to an automated system and end up in somebody's voicemail and never get a call back? Or maybe you do get that live person, it's that super aggressive, pushy used car salesman. 
who's going to call you five times a day to ask if you're ready to make a deal. So if you're like me, sick of being treated like a number by all these companies out there and definitely want to avoid that annoying used car salesman, give us a call, give us a text. We'll walk you through start to finish and I promise you I'm going to sell this Voyager whether you buy it or not. Absolutely zero pressure sales here. Yes, we do have financing available. We can send an application to your phone or email address and if computers aren't your thing, uh, get in touch with us. We're happy to give you a call and take an application over the phone. Yes, we do take trade-ins, even from across the country, whether standard or mobility vehicle, get in touch with us. I can explain how that works. And if you would like to come see our entire inventory, uh, we do welcome that, but we do require that you make an appointment. Why do we, we, why do we require an appointment, you ask? Good question. I'm not gonna put three car salesmen out, so when you walk on the lot, they're attacking you like vultures. You're going to do deal with myself, an experienced mobility expert that's gonna ask the right questions, get the right fit for you, and not try to put a round peg into a square hole. We're going to take care of you, we're gonna spend time with you, we're gonna make sure we address all of your needs, and how we do that is you making an appointment with us. So help us, help you, let's work together to find you the vehicle that best meets your needs. And if you did make it to the end of our video, thank you for hanging in there. I know it's a long video, but like I mentioned earlier, I know it's a major purchase, so I'm trying to be as thorough as I possibly can. And if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free shipping, free Carfax reports, dozens of pictures, and never any hidden fees, so you know exactly what you're getting from the most thorough and transparent mobility dealership in the entire country, check out our website 24 hours a day at www.mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. And as always, thank you so much for checking us out at Mobility 316, home of affordable mobility solutions where mobility is affordable give us that call or text today thanks for checking us out and giving us a chance to earn your business have yourself a wonderful day